basically what we have here is we have a new door handle, uh, one that doesn't have all the pitting that the original one did. New plastic components that go with the door handle. We have an anti-rattle kit uh, with new felt, obviously. Another part of the anti-rattle kit, and again, you can tell this has been hanging out in my collection for a while, I haven't put it in. Um, so, anti-rattle kit for the top side. New separator bar to go kind of in between the, the, the vent window and the main window. And what's in here is something else I've had since the day I bought the truck is a replacement window. Uh, the window that's in the driver's side has a nice big crack in it. Um, it hasn't gone all the way through, hasn't shattered all the way, but um, this is an opportunity to go ahead and take care of getting that cleaned up too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start pulling out some screws. seem to be all intact, but yeah, that, it looks like it was just glued in. Hmm. Well, I don't know, they just rotted away, I don't know which. Is I've got to get these bushings off of the posts that are on the regulator. There's a spring clip down inside I can kind of see it here. It's a little dirty, so it's kind of difficult to see, but I can kind of see the top edge of it. Uh, so if I can pop those off, then I can get those bushings off, which then means I can liberate the glass and its track, and then I can get the regulator out and then hopefully clean all this stuff out. Because right now, this is a nightmare. And the joy of this is I get to do it twice. Because there are two of these. got one okay one of the things I want to make sure we remember as we're working with the glass is the orientation of this piece across the bottom with where the windows curve is so this is the side that goes on the back edge of the door so this is the side this top this top side or the side facing me right now is the side that faces into the cab and then the other side is the part that faces out into the elements. So this track has glides in it. It's a little goopy. I'm going to clean that up. I also want to clean up the metal on this. Um, it looks like it may have had silver paint on it at one time. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, see if we can find out for sure. Um, either that or it may be that it's got a, a coating on the outside, maybe zinc, uh, to help prevent oxidation. But uh, at the very least, i got to get all the goop that's accumulated in here. It's like 40-year-old lubrication that 
just isn't going to hold. And the other thing I want to take a look at is the way the seal is done. So if you look carefully on here, the rubber that goes around the glass is high on one side, lower on the other. I don't know if that was by intent or just by accident. Um, it may not matter. I've got a new seal coming in. Uh, but in order to clean this up properly, I'm going to have to remove it from the glass. <laughs> challenges for this project that's kind of eluded me up until kind of a recent thought came to mind has involved these little pieces. This is part of the window regulator. The glass goes into this channel and this sits in there like that. This other half goes in there and there's a spring, a washer, the retaining clip and the clip rides in this groove right down here so it actually kind of hangs out down in that space so the question has been how do i got put run this thing in once i put all this back together and i think i've got the answer the solution is that look carefully there's a little groove you can see it there's a little groove on this on either side and that is where this clip ends up going in and what I think is best thing to do if you look very carefully these are, have a taper on them so theoretically they have this all reassembled with the spring and everything else and it's all in here when I go to push this on with the clip it should hopefully if I press down far enough it should just lock in and then I'm just I'm golden I don't have to do anymore and it should just lock and hopefully everything will hold back together. If I'm wrong, well, I'm wrong and I'll have to do something different. But I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I can get all these pieces back together on the bench without the glass, without having it in, in the truck's door and see if I can get it to hold. And if, I, if, it, if it does, great. And then that's one less thing to worry about. If it doesn't, well, then back to square one. So for a moment, I don't really need that. I can kind of work without it that together, put this together, put the washer on top. I'm trying to get the clip through, and actually what I may do is I think I may put a large shaft screwdriver through there, if I've got one for me. Kind of act like the center panel, I don't know if this is too big. Nope, oh, it's a good size. All right, and that'll give, it, give the clip something to ride on. Everything's going back together again. And ultimately, obviously, this was all going to be lub lubricated up. And put that in like that. Of course, you can't see what I'm doing. But... Okay, so clips in place. Slide that off. And if everything works like I hope, Actually, maybe we can push that one more spot between the clips. No, actually, that's right where it was. I have to bend these back together or something like this. So if I slide that on here. Yep, that's that's the trick. So now it's all locked on, everything's perfect. So all I really have to do is go through the process of getting these things kind of pre-clipped onto the channel. And then from there, it's just a matter of getting the regulator back in the door, and then we should just be able to slide them on. Everything should lock like it's supposed to. Fantastic. That's cool. Excellent. Okay. Got the clips in place. So these are all set, ready to go, other than no lubrication in them yet. But again, I'll take care of that uh, right before I insert it back into the vehicle. Then the next thing is obviously no glass in here. And... What I need to make sh make sure I do here is I got this new piece of rubber, which actually kind of pinches the glass together, and then this will hold everything in place. Now, there's a little protective barrier there to kind of keep this from getting dirty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slather this thing down with uh, some silicone spray. That'll provide some lubricant for the glass, 
It'll be temporary, it'll eventually kind of evaporate away and kind of let everything hold in place. But that will give me a way of kind of hammering this piece onto the end of my new window glass. So let's do that next. is ready to be cleaned before we put it in. Probably need to be washed again after, but I'll get all this oil and stuff off. There you go. Windows inserted. This part won't be visible, so I'm not really worried about it too much. All right. At this point, we're going to see what we can do about getting this old pitted door handle off. There's a screw, the hex, bolt, hex head on this side, holds it in place, and then there's an angled threaded rod on this side, and then the button mechanism itself is just a essentially a bolt on the back side that pushes against the, the the mechanism on the inside so pretty straightforward for that it's, it's, and the reason he replaces it the plastic is kind of gone gross and starting to turn kind of liquidy and then after that's off we can clean the, the paint underneath and around it and get the finish looking halfway decent <laughs> Nightmare division bar, another go. Gosh, this thing sucks. How the heck are you supposed to get this down? Know if that's the right way to do it, but don't shoot off some paint. But geez, that sucked. Taking the division bar out was a pain in the butt. I'm sure putting it back in or putting the replacement in is going to be just as fun and exciting. Um, hopefully, they can do this without cursing too loudly, but we'll see. Went ahead and taped off the chrome part so it'll get all scratched up. can't secure this in place until after we get the uh, window regulator in place. The window regulator has to go up above this piece here. And uh, so if we get too carried away, we're going to create a brand new set of problems for ourselves. But anyway, so that was easy. Okay, well, the next piece I'm going to reinstall is this piece. Uh, this is the channel that the Ammon Rattle kit that runs across the top of the door and on the side fits into, there's a little keyway right here that it hooks into, and then it sec is secured with a big bolt, a big nut here on the top, and then these two down here at the bottom. So let me go ahead and get this back in place. The next piece I'm gonna go ahead and get in place is the, um, this is the, the door latch, in, in cab door latch piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and it attaches to a little clip down inside, unfortunately, I don't think you're gonna be able to see that. But this thing has to go in vertically like this, and it hooks through that loop, and then once it's in, then I can turn it and that locks it. I'm tempted to see if I can actually shine that, I'll shine the light down in there so you can see that. I'm not sure how well you can see down in there. There, there we go. 
So that is, that's our goal right there. That's what the, this piece attaches to. There's a little spring on the back side of it that I have to push against, but once it's in, then um, we're locked in place. So got to try to get everything hooked onto that. I wasn't able to provide a good video of the reassembly of the door, mostly because of the fact that it's a really tight space and trying to wrestle with all the components is kind of like wrestling a bag full of jello. So uh, instead, actually, it's probably easier for me to go ahead and provide sort of a visual representation of all of the reassembly process. The first piece that needs to go in is the trim piece that goes around the upper portion of the door and is locked into the keyway on the far left hand side. Once that's in place, then the screws that hold the division bar in place can be put in not too tight. You still need to put a little bit of wiggle in there, but uh, mostly the whole idea is to try to get the channel in place for the window. Once all that's in place, then it's possible to go ahead and put the window glass back in place and then attach that to the window regulator. The problem is you can't attach the window regulator after the glass is fully up or in, the, in its final position because there's just not enough room to move around. So as a consequence, you have to attach the window regulator and the glass before everything's fully reassembled. Next, you get to wrestle the window regulator back into place and get it up through its hole in the, do in the door where the handle is right now. Once that all is in place, then it is possible to go ahead and tighten up all the screws, lock everything down, and put the door cover back into place. And the last little bit of work is snapping in this piece of trim on either side. This is the one that holds everything in place. Unfortunately, I screwed up a little bit. And if you look carefully here, the piece is a little long. I realized that was a problem on the other piece and trimmed it. But this one's looking a little rough. It's not perfect. The other thing I ultimately ended up doing is going back through and repainting this section here, as you saw earlier in the video. I ended up ripping off a chunk of paint. So managed to get that touched up and blended back properly and everything looks pretty original. So that's pretty much it. The door is good. I also have greased the hinges so it doesn't squeak anymore. And there you have it. Fully redone door, no cracks. Everything looks nice and clean. If you like this video and like to see more of the same sort of stuff, please Click the like and subscribe button at the bottom and I'll see what I can do about getting more content out. Thank you very much.